Hey, welcome to your reading. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's reading is the person on your mind. What are they thinking about you currently, right now, at this moment? All right. Uh, so we have three groups for you to choose from. Group one, the Fusite Crystal. Group two, the Sodalite. And group three, the Blue Calcite. So if you do need a moment to choose your group, feel free to pause the video and take as much time as you need, but I will see you in your readings, okay? Welcome, I hope you're doing good. If you've chosen the first group, the Fusite Crystal, then this reading is for you, the person on your mind. What are they thinking about you right now? So we have the Five of Pentacles. Judgment in reverse, and the moon upright. Alright, so for this group, please only take what resonates, what makes sense. If it doesn't resonate, then just uh, disregard. And it, I feel like for this group, I don't normally say this, but it could be... Um, like reverse like they could think that you think that way about them uh but i'm just going to get on with it now so but i am going to do it from their perspective but like if you need to flip it then flip it but i'm not gonna you know do both perspectives but yeah uh so yeah the person on your mind at the moment they are thinking that you disappointed them in some way uh, for some of you, this could be because they think you're chaotic or some area of your life is chaotic. For some of you, perhaps finances with this five of pentacles being here. Um, they could be disappointed by your spending habits. Right now, they're thinking that they can't reach uh, a common ground with you. And they could also think that you lied to them as well, maybe about a situation that involves money or something you did or was supposed to do for them. They also think that things between you both are unstable right now. They also feel that you broke their trust and made it a little harder to trust you. They may not completely distrust you, it doesn't feel like. Uh, just when it comes to certain things, they could be a bit, you know, eh, a bit, yeah, on on the fence about whether or not they can trust you. But they have been thinking that you don't have financial freedom right now. They don't necessarily think you're struggling financially, just a bit limited at the moment. They also have been thinking that you need support from someone. They don't necessarily think you need support from them, maybe from an ex for some of you. They think that you failed in trying to get them to do something or trying to change their mind. But they also think that you may have failed or that you feel like a failure in some way or some area of your life. Maybe when it comes to them. Maybe when it comes to like work or career or money. Right now, they do think you're being misguided. They think that you need to do better in some way. Not be a better person necessarily, but make more of an effort in some area of your life. For some of you, again, this could be referring to maybe career, job. And for some of you, take this effort makes sense, but this person, they think that you are trying to harm them. At the moment, they think that you need to have better judgment when it comes to them. Maybe when it comes to other people in your life as well. They could think that you hurt people. Maybe unintentionally. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, they do think that you need to not treat them as if they're silly and as if they don't have discernment. They've been thinking as well that you could be feeling sorry for yourself and they do think that you want them to feel the same. They've also been feeling recently that you lack empathy, which in turn makes them lack empathy for you. They, in their opinion, they think that you're needing to do some self-reflection, but they also think that you refuse to change. They've been thinking that you're judgmental. Overall, they feel like you're not doing yourself any favours. But whoever this person is, it feels like they're past the point of caring. It's just, yeah. They could think that you have malicious intentions when it comes to them. But also when it comes to other people, maybe someone younger than you or people younger than you or just not as, um, like, yeah, maybe you're old as you or as progressed as you, mature as you. I don't know if mature is the right word, but maybe experience could be a more better word. Um, but yeah, they think that you're pointing blame in the wrong direction. Whereas they kind of think that you may need to look inwards a bit more. They do think that you aren't confident and that you may need to be a bit more self-assured. They do think it would be hard to forgive you. They also think that you need to find forgiveness and move on. And that could be referring to them. It could be referring to other people in your life as well. But they've been thinking that you are being too hard on them. Or expecting too much from them. They do think that they need more clarity on you. They are confused and they do think you are hiding things from them. They also think that you have a fear-based mindset and need to work on that. But yeah, right now they do think there's too much uncertainty between you both. They also think that you have a lot of misconceptions about them. And for some of you, they could also think you're afraid of them as well. They could also think that you make other people feel anxious, maybe nervous, maybe a bit intimidated. But that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I hope it could be helpful more than anything else, but I'm wishing you the best, all right? Take care. Hello, welcome if you've chosen the second group, the soul delight, the misreading is for you, the person on your mind, what are they thinking about you right now? Okay, so we have the three of swords reversed, knight of swords upright and the empress card upright as well all right so what are they thinking about you so they've been thinking that you have moved on for some of you this may not have anything to do with you moving on it could just be you moving or gaining momentum in an area of your life for some of you it could be like literally moving traveling maybe change location moved home um for some of you, this is kind of like onwards and upwards, kind of just like leaving the past behind and finding forgiveness. And that's what they think you're doing. Right now, they think that you care for them, but you're putting yourself first. 
they do think you're gradually moving on from them may not maybe not there yet but you know you're moving in that direction they do think a lot about how they kept underestimating your strength they think that you're no longer holding on to hurt disappointment conflict maybe unhealthy attachment But instead, they do think you're forgiving or trying to forgive. They do think you're healing and doing well for yourself. And they've been thinking a lot about how they have managed to mess things up with you. And I think there's no chance of you allowing them back into your life especially in a deep way you know and they've also been thinking that they should probably just leave you be they've <clears throat> they've also been thinking about you eventually connecting or reconnecting with someone else But they do believe that you won't settle for anything less than the best. You know, that you aren't going to settle for someone who doesn't treat you right. Someone who doesn't put you on a pedestal. Because now they think you know your worth. And that is how you're moving forward. And that's how, that's what you're attracting. That's what you're trying to align with. They do think you seem much more confident. They also think you're doing better financially too. Overall, they think you're feeling a lot more optimistic about your life, your prospects. And they do think about how they miss you and how much of a comfort you were to them. Like you made this person feel secure, safe. You made them feel rich as well, you made them feel abundant. And they've just realized how much things about you they miss. Like they miss talking to you. They miss hearing your voice. And they do think you've changed them. But after the fact, you know, they think their changes came too late in your relationship or to make any real meaningful changes in your relationship. They do think you're the defending yourself a lot more um protecting yourself as well and they think you're being defensive with them but they're afraid to hear your honesty like they're afraid to hear what you really think and that's something they've been thinking about because it's like they want to reach out to you for clarity they want to reach out to you for healing or you know understanding or to to reach a common ground or to make peace but they're afraid of what you might say um but they think you're smarter now they think you're wiser they've also been thinking a lot about the conflict and disagreements you've both had which they, uh, you know, another regret that they have. They do think you're a bit harder now, no longer easy or a pushover or naive in any way. And they kind of just see you as persevering. They do think you're not as emotional and empathetic as you used to be. They don't necessarily think you're cold, um, but they do think you're smart now, you know?
um but yeah they they see you and they think you're taking more risk they definitely think you're more rebellious and braver than you were in the past and they also think you're moving faster towards your goals like you're building momentum in your life or certain areas of your life and they do think about how they didn't appreciate your attractiveness in the past they see you as beautiful now and they saw you as beautiful in the past, but they feel like they took it for granted, you know? They also think about your sensuality and how they miss that quality of you, in you. Right now, they think that you're getting the support that you deserve. They do think of you as being down to earth and humble, and they also miss those qualities about you too. But that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it could be helpful and make sense, but I'm wishing you the best. Take care. Welcome, I hope you're doing good if you've chosen the third group, the blue calcite in this reading, see you. Alright, so we have the five of wands in reverse, king of pentacles in reverse, and the high priestess upright. So this person you're asking about, they do think you sit on information, not in a way where they think you're secretive or you're hiding things or in a way where you're even keeping secrets, maybe your own or other people's secrets. Um, but they think that you notice things, that you have this awareness, that you pick up on things, you pick up on details and knowledge, but you don't necessarily just like blurt it out, like they do think you keep it in and um, process it that way so this person they feel like you've calmed down and they could think that you're less aggressive or there's less, you know, chaotic or aggy kind of energy between you both. And or it could be that they think that you don't want to fight anymore or they've realized that they don't want to fight anymore with you. For some of you, they could have perceived you as wanting to fight or or having that kind of aggressive energy towards them and it feels like they realized that wasn't the case but for some of you if that was happening between you both then they kind of think that you want to squash it or things have just calmed down so because things have calmed down they think you guys can come to a common ground or they think you guys can you know talk or hash things out in a calmer way um, but for some of you, it feels like they've actually realized that you are a lot more peaceful than they noticed before. And they think that you both want to compromise. They could think that you've both forgiven each other or you're both set to forgive each other soon. Uh, for some of you, they could just perceive you both as being forgiven people, you know. But they do think you are relieved that certain challenges you could have been facing are um, subsiding. They want you both to stop disagreeing with each other. They want you both to understand each other's points of view and maybe just agree to disagree. But they do think you're both headed in a more positive and optimistic direction. Uh, direction and yeah 
So they could also think that you don't really value material things. Even if you are quite blessed in that way, they think you aren't controlled by that stuff or base your worth on material things. And they also think about how they have faith in you. Your goals or the way you're doing something or the way you're living your life. But they see you as being strong and currently fighting for what you want and what you have. And they do think you're someone that focuses more on solutions as opposed to focusing on the problems. Either with them or you kind of just live your life that way. They've also been thinking about how you aren't very controlling or territorial. They do think you're quite chill. But at the same time, assertive. They do think you have quite a bit of masculine, you know, qualities. Or it just outweighs your feminine qualities. They do think you hate conflict, though. They do think you're self-focused and self-interested. For some of you, they could perceive you as a bit selfish in certain areas or where they're concerned. They do think you're quite intuitive and generous at times, and other times self-focused. So you, they think you're someone who gains a lot of respect, like they think you're very respectable, but at the same time, they think you don't really care whether or not people respect you. But they see people as respecting you anyway. But they also think that you don't like people depending on you or being too reliant on you. They also think that you don't like looking after people or providing for them. They do think you are quite serious. They think you don't care too much about your appearance but you look good anyway. They do see you as being a mixture between patient and impatient. So right now they think that some people look to you as a leader and I don't know, it doesn't necessarily feel like they think you dislike it, but they definitely think you don't lean into that role of being a leader. So this person also thinks that you don't have a lot of stability right now, or this is something that they, yeah, think, like, they're, they're not sure, then they don't know for sure whether or not you have stability, but that would be their guess, that you don't have a lot right now. And they've been thinking that they've been unsuccessful in their approach to you, or an I idea or a goal that they had that involved you. So they may also think that you don't have enough freedom or independence. They could also think you're quite reliant on someone right now. But they do think of you as being smart and intuitive, emotionally balanced. Um, but in their mind, like you're still a bit of a mystery to them. They also think of you as having high standard, that you're a bit unattainable in certain ways, or maybe to them. And they also see you as being quite creative too. But that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it can make sense, be helpful. But I'm wishing you the best, alright? Take care. Bye.